Emergency Management at UND. He is uh, also running for sheriff, and Grand Forks County Sheriff. So those of you seniors, when you go to vote, when you vote for your first time, you're going to go in there and you're going to see a whole bunch of names that you don't know. How are you going to know? He's also a basketball official. He officiates a lot of our high school basketball games. And he is a Division II NCAA basketball official also. Uh, I'd like to welcome Danny Wagle. <laughs> we all can. Yeah. 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 Just, uh, just accomplish a couple of things. <laughs> but I want to talk to you guys a little bit. Um, so Central holds a special place in my heart. I, I graduated from here, played football here. And uh, you know when you leave high school, you always think those coaches are going to stop yelling at you? Well, I started officiating. And so now I still get yelled at by people like Dan and uh, Mr. Burris, Coach Burris over there, and Mr. Baki. And, uh, Mr. Lorenz as well, Mr. Landry, so just when he thought you were done getting yelled at, uh, step back on the field. So they wanted to talk, have me talk a little bit about social media. If I were to pull a hundred of your parents in right now, all your parents in here, and I ask them just two simple questions. If I ask them, who picked up and read a newspaper today? How many parents do you think would raise their hand? Probably all of them, right? A lot of them? No? You don't read the newspaper? Either online or in the paper? Okay. All right. So if I ask you guys that same question, who picked up a newspaper today to read it? I think that counted like seven. A couple, right? Mr. Landry, you don't count? Um, but we don't do that as much anymore, right? So if I were to ask you guys right now in this room, who's been on Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, or whatever other programs you guys use. Pretty much everybody, right? Okay? So, when we talk about social media and, and what it does in our life, we have to think about a couple things. I ran for city council uh, back in 2016, and we always been told you need to work hard, right? If you have a goal, you gotta go up and make it happen. And Part of that was, is I didn't work the hardest out of everybody. I ran against two other people. They knocked on every single door twice in my ward. There's a couple thousand people that live there, a couple thousand houses. They knocked on every door twice. I took a different approach to that, a different strategy to that. And I've always been told, don't work harder, work smarter. And so my approach was, is I can go and knock on a door and talk to somebody for 10 or 15 minutes and, and reach that one person or that family. Or I could post something on social media and reach thousands, right? And you have to wonder what approach is gonna work for you best. Um, hockey, you have to work hard. You have to lift weights. You need to spend time on the ice. I needed to reach people and spread my message on how I was gonna impact the city of Grand Forks and how I was gonna have a positive impact with that. So that's what I did. And now as I've been on the city council for, for two years, I've also done the same thing now with running for Grand Forks County Sheriff. And a lot of that has to do with, if we want to communicate with people and we want to reach people and have a positive impact, we need to communicate in ways that they're communicating, right? So if I were to send you guys all uh, a postcard in the mail, are you guys able to look at it? Maybe a little bit, right? Right? If I target you guys through social media, are you probably going to see that more often? Has anybody seen any of my stuff on social media? A couple people? That's good because I'm not targeting your crowd, but I'm glad you see seen it. That, that's a good thing. I'm, I'm targeting the older crowd, like uh, Mr. Carlson. So, um, but but we got to strategize. We have to we have to do things that that make sense for us at the time and the moment. So when we talk about social media, that's the positive of it, right? We can use it to communicate messages and different things we want to accomplish. But there's also a, a, a negative side of that as well. Has anybody seen anything negative on social media? All the time, right? Yeah, the more time you spend on it, it seems like the more stuff you find. But how does that relate to your guys' life? What happens if you post, post something negative? 
is what happens. Somebody give me an answer, yell it out. What's that? Absolutely, right? It spreads like wildfire. So a good example of that, I run the social media accounts from the UND Police Department. And a couple years ago, Drake Pajula scored a crazy goal during the hockey game, and I tweeted something stupid and probably uh, infringed on copyright agreements after I taped it from Mid-Continent, but I tweeted it and just said, we're investigating Drake Pajula for stealing the number one spot in SportsCenter. Well, that got caught on by John Bouchigras, who's on ESPN. He retweeted it, and it continued to get retweeted. We reached a quarter of a million people around the world just on Twitter at the little old UND Police Department. They then showed it all over ESPN on their national television, right? So we understand how things spread like that, like wildfire, and keeps on going. So we need to think about that, and that was something positive, right? We always see more negative things in our world than we see positive. So what happens when we post something that shouldn't be posted on social media? It spreads fast. And the big thing with that is it's not just representing who you are, but it could be representing who your coaches are, the school you came from, your family, and everything else, right? So the biggest thing that I can tell you guys is think about social media. Think of it as a tool, use it positively, but at the same time, understand where things can go. Um, I work at law enforcement, you'd be amazed at all the things that I've seen. Um, and a lot of it stems from some stuff on social media. Whether it's racist comments, racist remarks, whether it's people doing inappropriate things on a webcam and then sending it places, right? And then being extorted online by people in different countries for money. The biggest thing, guys, is we need to use common sense. We need to be smart about things. I'm not going to take too much of your time because we're probably already uh, probably all, all over schedule. But the big thing that I can say to you guys is just a, just a general goal in life and one piece of advice is just do the right thing. Um, I've been told that sometimes doing the right thing isn't always the popular thing. And that's something that I've held on to because we're going to, whatever you guys, your career paths take you in college, sports, athletics, whatever it might be, you're going to face adversity and it's how you're going to respond to that, what kind of decision you're going to make in the heat of the moment that shapes who you are. So thank you for having me and uh, congratulations.